Hey all, Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary, and welcome to another episode of Slabs to Cabs, where I take slabs that I get from rocks and fossils that I find on the western shore of Lake Michigan, and I turn them into cabochons. So, today we're going to do this one. We cut this one yesterday. Here, let me get it a little wet. We cut this one yesterday. Not 100% sure what it is, but it's awesome looking, for sure. Um, so I thought it actually looked like there was a little duck right there in there. So the piece I wanted to get, I'm going to do 30 millimeter. I'm going to, I got some new settings like that, 30 millimeter circles. So I already drew my line on the back here, right there. So the face that I'm going to get is going to have that duck in it and kind of have all of these little pockets in it. So what we're going to do first, like usual, is we're going to trim these edges off on the six inch high tech trim saw. And then we're going to head over to the flat lap and we're going to shape this down so it fits into the setting. So we'll get those two steps done and we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, we're through all the discs. Let's put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes. Pop it off of here and put it in our setting. Okay, so this thing's been in the freezer for about 15 minutes. Let's hope it snaps off okay. It did. Get this stuff out of the way. No wax left on the bottom. Just get this thing wiped off. Let's see what she looks like. This is what we ended up with. It didn't take that great of a shine. It's got to have like some hematite or something in there. You can see in the sheen there. It should turn out okay though. There you can see all the different sheens. So I'm thinking there's some hematite in there. But a lot of that patterning did come through. It kind of turned like greenish. So I think it turned out, all in all, it turned out pretty good. It did have this fracture. I'm not sure if you can see that. It kind of goes all the way through right there and then all the way up, but you can't really tell it's in there. It kind of just looks like it's in the stone. So let's see it inside of this setting once. Yeah, there you go. So I might not actually keep it in this setting. It got a little smaller than I wanted, but technically that's what it would look like in any setting. So not a great shine, but good enough for me i think it's just really cool patterning all right so if you like this video leave a like hit subscribe if you haven't already stay tuned for a couple close-ups at the end we'll see you in the next one Bye bye